physics equation six this is the last video on physics equations intensity and distance so first of all what exactly do we mean by intensity well the intensity of a wave is how much energy it's carrying if you were talking about a sound wave then it's how loud it is it's how much energy the wave has got now uh, here's something surprising the further away somebody is then the quieter they are this bloke shouting if he moved further away then he gets quieter and quieter you might like to go out in your garden and try this for yourself okay now its intensity is smaller why is the intensity smaller because as a wave travels along it, it its energy gets spread out more and more and more its energy has to cover a bigger area so its energy becomes more and more dilute the intensity gets less and less and less because the energy of the wave becomes more and more spread out as it travels away here's a radio transmitter you see the waves coming out and they get weaker and weaker as you move further away because the waves spread out more and we can, can use this equation here i equals k over r squared to work out the intensity now notice that the, it's an inverse relationship in other words the intensity gets smaller and it follows what we call an inverse square law now basically that means that if you double the distance is the intensity half as much and the answer is no it's a quarter if you look at this table going from 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers the intensity goes from 100 to 25 percent going from 20 to 40 the intensity is a quarter as much a quarter of 25 is 6.3 it follows an inverse square law in fact if you just remember if you double the distance then the intensity is a quarter you might just get away with that okay a harder question would be to work out the intensity at any distance and to do that you'd have to work out a value for k as we shall see so we'll do these together an easy example a radio receiver picks up a strong signal when it's 60 kilometers away how will the strength of the signal be different if you're 120 kilometers away well if the distance is double then the intensity will be now it won't be a half it will be a quarter and so a quarter intensity in other words it will be 25 percent of what it was here's a harder example a radio receiver picks up a strong signal when it's 60 kilometers what will the strength of the signal be at 75 now to do this we're going to have to work out the value of k okay so if first of all I say k equals i r squared because i is k over r squared and I'll say at 60 kilometers it's a hundred percent and that gives me my value of k 360,000 knowing this I can then work out the intensity at any distance and at 75 kilometers then it's 360,000 divided by 75 squared which is 64 percent here's a sum for you to do again the first one should be easy the second one is quite a challenging little one okay and the answers are okay so for the first one the distance is three times bigger so will the intensity be a third no it won't it'll be a ninth because it's one over three squared and a ninth of a hundred percent is eleven point one percent a hundred divided by nine is eleven point one part b uh, I've worked out the value of k okay if I say the intensity is a hundred percent at two meters then that gives me a value of k as 400 uh, and then next I said it was quite tricky is I work out the value of R where the intensity is 5% and I get 8.9 meters which is probably why you don't get a, 
a very good Wi-Fi signal in the garden. <laughs>